What's going on guys and welcome back to One Way Bay where I'm sitting across from Canned Tights on the new district that we're going to need to name soon so you guys let me know in the comments. This is going to be our uh, college town. Yes, we are going to eventually run a bus or a train route over to here. Uh, we still got water coming over here, damn it. Um, but yeah, I've gone ahead and started the highway connection here because you, you don't want to sit and watch me connect highways. It is boring. But on a side note, you will also notice that we have some more green going on in the city. I took a little bit of time to just get some trees down. I used the tree brush, of course. I didn't place them all individually because that would have been a pain in the ass. But yeah, we've got some more green going on. It It's very nice. It looks great. Uh, it's just adding a little bit more flavor to the town, a little bit more contrast in the colors, and it makes, like, the pinwheel district is, like, engulfed in trees right now. It looks really cool, and for the residents, I'm sure they'd love it. Uh, what else did I do? I, over here, added some, um, pedestrian walkways, and people seem to enjoy it now. So yeah, I just gave everybody a way to get around from the metro up to over to the bus station and Pleasure Town without having to go through all of these crosswalks. And be because it's faster, they are preferring to use it. I also linked it up over to here. Um, I added all these bushes and someone has crashed into one apparently. <laughs> what are you even doing? But yeah, there's some bushes here. I tweaked a little bit of the land around here to make it look a little different so there's that I used uh, the rocks in the mod here the terraform mod to get that look and um, I think yeah I also as I talked about earlier in an earlier episode I linked this up so people can just get into the backs of the train stations and leave out the back instead of having to come out the front and actually I came to the conclusion that when we were watching over here, most people were still going in over here. Maybe they need to get like a bus t or a train ticket. So that's why they always go in the front. I'm not sure on that, but it, it seems logical to, logical to me. So I don't know. If anyone knows about that, let me know in the comments. But I think that kind of covers everything that I did off screen, off camera. Um... But I did notice, oh yeah, I also connected, we were missing like one building was missing water, so I, I connected that up to it. But I've noticed, yes, we have a bit of a problem here in terms of traffic, and also I was looking at this, and these both lead out, so we need to flip one of those around so people can get into the district here. Um, let's just go right ahead and flip that one around. Should we also connect that up to something? Probably not. Although, I guess we could swing it out over here. Connect it up over here. I guess that... That kind of makes sense, right? Um... Maybe. Sure, let's... Let's just do it. What's the harm? It's gonna take out one building. Whatever. Um... And then... Actually, you know what? We'll just pull this straight off over here. I just want to delete one. I don't want to delete too many buildings over here. Oh, I didn't want to delete that either. Ay ay ay. okay. So, there we go. Just a little something something over here. Hopefully that'll move a little bit more traffic around. Um, I do think we're gonna want to put another one of these. Oh yeah, also I did connect that up over because it was like this earlier. I've connected it up via bridge. So hopefully that alleviates some issues with the traffic. Um, but yeah, I think we want to maybe put one more of these kind of intersections off of this highway right here and then branch it off like that way and that way to give kind of just traffic different options to take wherever they need to go because right now, yeah, there's quite a bit of buildup going on over by the Pleasure District. So, that's that. I think we're all caught up. That only took five minutes so the rest of the episode is gonna be all brand new um I hope actually yeah no I don't like having the trees um in between highways because 
Like, realistically, you wouldn't see that many trees in, in but between highways, especially over here. Like, I had trees underneath things, and if they were to grow, they would just get into the highway, and that's not something that the cities want to deal with, so that's why you'd never see those. But, um, what do we want to do over in this college town? Do we want to place the college first? Maybe. Uh, I don't remember how I used to do this. I used to do colleges right next to a train station or something, and it was beautiful. How did I do that? Um, all right, let's just, I guess let's just place a college. Where, it's the book. Yeah, it's that one. Okay, we can place a college, but we need it on a road. Do we want, where do we want the train to come up? Probably over here. So maybe we'll just place a college, like, right here. And maybe we'll just, we won't want that much of a highway, maybe? Maybe we'll just turn that into a six lane? Or should we just turn it into, like, a two lane? Um, how do we want the main square to kind of look? Or maybe, yeah, maybe we should put the highway, or not the highway, the university on, like, a main square. That could look cool and have, like, a little campus going on here. Let's do that. Why not? We'll do something like this, and then, like, this and this, and then we'll just kind of plop a college in there. I mean... Wow, that's... that college is bigger than I thought it would be. Alright, let's make that a little bigger, actually. I probably should turn this around. Flip... flip that around. Because... Hmm. Actually, should we... I kind of want to make this district really nice. So what I'm thinking is we'll flatten some land out. Um... Which one was it? I think it was this one. Boom, and then we'll just kind of flatten out land here. And then I'll smooth it out later when I don't want to eat through all of my budget because I have a school to put down. So, okay, we flatten the land, and we'll just go ahead and lay the road work down for the university square. Nope, don't do that now. And, of course, that actually bumped all of my things out of whack. Damn it. Okay, let's get this right. Do it right or do it twice. That is the motto in One Way Bay. So, all right. So now we've got enough room for a university. Of course... Oh, there they go. A lot of people love it. It extends all the way out to Cantites, which is cool. Although, right now, we'll just turn it off. And I don't think that affects them. No. Cool. Oh, yeah, it did. That yeah, was delayed. <laughs> it was a delayed response, but whatever. So, yeah, I will go ahead and smooth some of this out. Uh, maybe off camera. Or if I end up doing it here, whatever. But uh, let's just kind of, right now, lay some path work down. Because paths are the lifeblood of the cities. And that's... Just a fact. So, not too much going on. Just gonna extend. I don't want to break anything. Probably shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have laid those down yet. I probably should do the, nope, nope, I screwed it up already. Damn it. Do it to there, do it to there, and we'll just kind of do something like this. Um, just hope for the best here. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Whatever. So, yeah, well, our college will have a little bit of a campus. We'll put some bushes and trees in. I'll do that later. I'm not going to sit and waste everybody's time to do that. But we'll just kind of, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. We've got a college now. We'll put the train station probably, like, maybe over here. Because I could... No, that's an outside connection, though. I'm going to have to run the train line, which is something I didn't do. And honestly, I don't know where I'm going to run that, because that's pretty booked right there. I could swing it around out here and go under here and 
work down through here and somehow make it work. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I think. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, and also, that's going to cost like a fortune, I think. So we'll do a bit of a train track out to here. That thing is going to be in the way, of course. And if I delete it, I hope that's not going to screw anything up. In terms of power output, it does a little bit, obviously, but I mean, really how much of that was actually helping anything. So yeah, I'll just leave that there for my reminder. I'll do that later. Um, I know that these are now disconnected, so actually we are in a little bit of a not a crisis per se, but a uh, alarmingly low rate of power, let's say. So yeah, we do should probably get a new power station. And we can afford it at this point because, I mean, we have $8,000 coming in per week. So that's nothing to us. Just a drop in the bucket to... How much do those even cost? Not that much, I don't think. Um... They cost a lot to build, but they're only 2400 bucks a, a week, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, let's build out some of this. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place now, but whatever. I need to do what I need to do in here, and being a mayor isn't, isn't an easy job. I'm just going to say it. I mean, there's a lot of things to keep in mind here. But, oh, I, yeah, I also fixed this because it was doing some weird stuff earlier. And some of these, I think I fixed this one too. It was like, it would... It would create a hump in the terrain, which was strange to me. So I'm just, I kind of cleaned some stuff up off camera that just looked a little quirky, but all right, we'll uh, just speed it up a little bit just to see all these new buildings kind of plop into town. There we go. And let's go over here to figure out what the best plan of attack over here is. Um, hmm. I'm kind of thinking that a six lane isn't the best idea. I mean, I really like the look of the six lane highways, but it's just, they don't really pan out to be like a good investment kind of, kind of per se, I guess. Like the AI doesn't use them very well is what I guess I'm trying to say here. The AI does, it just refuses to like, use all six lanes they typically use like one or two sometimes three but it's it's a problem it is a problem and i know i said i was gonna do this later but i need to what the hell that's not what the hell yeah this was the one where you right click over no yeah something like that i don't know let's smooth this out a little bit i guess i don't know So there we go, and there we go. Um, and I'll just kind of smooth final tool out over here. Didn't actually help much over here. Oh wow, that that helped too much now. Damn it! Can I undo? Yeah, you can control Z in this tool, and it's great. All right. I'm just gonna kind of flatten this out. I know it's not it's not the best thing to watch, but whatever. So, all right, that's that. We'll connect up this road to the highway now, and we're gonna try to avoid traffic lights at all costs. Is what it comes down to over here, and we're gonna need a name for this town. I think I don't think we did come up with a name for the district which actually we're gonna have to zone also so I'll do that right after I connect this up and just keep it smooth like that boom done cool that's the highway that's the college that's the campus this will be some sort of shopping or something and then we'll just put little houses all over the place it's a college town we'll put little dorms everywhere that's kind of how I like to run it and then we'll also have to put our train station in over here, probably. And then we'll get people from there to there. And we have some water. 
issues. Of course, just barely out of the range, but not an issue. We fixed it. Actually, how are we doing for everything? We have, obviously, we just put down a new power plant. That's good. Our water availability, kind of low. It's in the mid-range right now, so let's just lay one more of these down over here and connect it up and make sure it's got power and it does cool so now that should be good yep our sewer treatment is decent our trash incineration is not that cool right now 37 grand to put a new one down but we're gonna have to do it not enough money for two unfortunately and I think last episode I started emptying this yes um our healthcare availability is off the charts. Everybody is healthy in One Way Bay. There's only 175 sick people. So we have the capacity to handle 900. Our death care is moderate for cemetery, but very, very good for crematorium. That's good. And actually, I don't think we've seen a death wave in a while. So that's, that's something to be proud of. I'm not sure if we've scattered the... Um, population ages age range enough but I mean it's been a while but the last one almost did us in so I mean you get what you get um should we put one more firehouse in here in the pinwheel district or should we put like a real firehouse in the pinwheel district when we have enough money I don't know probably because there are some very concerning parts namely the pinwheel district they do not have fire coverage uh, Poo Poo Parkway also doesn't have fire coverage, but they are in a proximity to a couple fire departments. We may want to put one, like, over here at some point. Actually, there's one right there, so maybe we'll put a small one down, like, here or something, just to handle some of Poo Poo Parkway's issues. Uh, you know those methane gases can build up and uh, all of a sudden explode spontaneously. So, that's never a good thing. So... <laughs> Um, and of course, we are doing very good. Actually, our jail availability, jail availability, there we go, that's a weird phrase to say fast, is coming down, and, I mean, it just went up a little. But yeah, we are trending toward needing a prison eventually. Um, prison van capacity, five, yes. So, <laughs> should we, <laughs> should we, like, when we eventually buy this tile and make a mining town up here should we have like the prisoners over there and it'll be just like a hard town you go over there if you like are manly enough sort of thing it's just a tough part of town and you, you get into bar brawls and stuff and we'll just have its own like district and stuff i don't know speaking of bar brawls and stuff should we zone actually yeah that's something i didn't do again here we go. Should we zone this new college town as, um, like a, p a party district? I kind of feel like that'd be kind of fun, so I think we're gonna do that. That that could be something very cool. So, yeah, we'll just have another red light district over here. Um, unfortunately, there isn't gonna be much in terms of, um, commercial. Lake Square. University. Something University. We had a name picked out, uh, South Farmton University, I think was it. So let's go with that. Oop, caps lock on. South Farmton University. South Farmton, sure. Maybe the district should be South Farmton. Or, you know what, guys? If we want to change the name, let's go ahead and let me know in the comments. We can change the name of the college, we can change the name of Lake Square, which is something we should change the name of anyway. But yeah, that'll be something in the comments. Um, yeah, I think I'll wrap this up now. I think off camera, I might start building, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'll, I'll build out this university next episode a little bit. I'll show you what I kinda like to do in terms of a university town, in terms of design. But I think in between ne now and next episode, I'll go ahead and add another exit ramp over here because, I mean, this got a little clogged up and it's still pretty clogged up, so, you know. Yeah, that should help out with that. We'll just give people, like, two or three more options off 
into Quake Heights and Pleasure Town. And, um, yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, I think that's that. As soon as we get a little bit more demand for residential, we'll start upgrading Old Bay again to mid-range residential because we do still have a height restriction or a population dis the high rise restriction there we go on old bay i'm not sure if that even affects the european theme because i've actually never fully played with the european theme before but that's for next time guys until then stay tuned and thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode